Hey, what's up, everybody? Future King John here. Actually, I recorded this entire thing about a week ago, and I finally got around to editing it after I've been busy with so many other things. Um, I, I wanted to talk about the future of the channel, you know, how things are going to be handled around here in the next coming months, you know, what to expect for future content and things like that. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a warning. For some reason, I sounded so tired and depressed when I was recording this. I don't know why. So I tried my best to edit it in a way that sounds a little bit better because I just sound like so dead. I wasn't, I don't know why it sounded that way. I just, I guess I just kind of just rambled and, and forgot to talk like this all the time. So yeah, anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a warning. Uh, if you guys watched the whole video through, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. It's a very important video. Definitely gonna be, uh, it's gonna tell you what the future of the channel is gonna look like, what to expect, and how I was feeling. I'm gonna be rambling a lot, but regardless, let's get right into the video, all right? Hey, what's up, everybody? King John here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about, you know, the future of the channel. If you guys want to give you a little bit of a channel update, see what's going on with the channel, what the future of the channel is going to look like. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, you know, for those of you who are interested, for those of you that want, that care about the future of the channel. I'm not going to be trying to make this entertaining or I'm not going to, I just want to talk. I'll probably play some gameplay or something over this, but I really just wanted to uh, just talk about what I want for the channel, what I'm thinking about the channel and how things are going to be changing around here uh, very soon so as a lot of you guys know i am primarily a fighting game uh channel i pretty much just make fighting game videos and that's really all that i do i don't really do anything else i've tried to post different games and such uh, but i mostly do fighting games here and over time i found it more and more difficult to play and make content on fighting games it, it has nothing to do with like numbers or growth or views or subscribers or anything like that this has more to do with creativity and you know uh I, wouldn't, I don't want to say passion for it, but you know, making videos for fighting games has made me see that there's not a lot you can do with fighting games. You're, you're either going to make an online, a gameplay video, a tutorial or guide of some sort, or just talking about the latest trend in the community. And that's cool and all, but I don't know if that's really what I want in the long term for my channel. I don't feel like I feel lost in place, I guess is the best way to put it. Like there's not much I can do with fighting games to make content other than the same thing you know I'll, I'll, and it kind of shows because a lot of fighting game content creators kind of do the same things pretty much over and over again because you know that's what works in here that's that's kind of what it is you know i find it kind of weird and because the pandemic has been awful obviously but if there's one thing that came out of the pandemic in terms of youtube is that a lot of new content creators were born you know because everybody was forced to stay home and all these things so it made a lot of new people make content for fighting games which is awesome because was, there wasn't really that many content creators for fighting games it was pretty much just from the ones that i can remember like maximilian made it and then he kind of turned into a variety he doesn't really do only fighting games anymore he kind of just does whatever he wants and now there's so many of them you know all the panda creators like all the people that just make fighting games and well, content in general there's so many people now which is great you know i was one of those people i started making fighting games or i started making videos on fighting games on early last year i think about in may or april i don't remember exactly and i started making fighting games and it was all cool but over time i started to figure out it was a lot harder to make videos because there was it's not really a lot to talk about or do here and i know this may sound weird to a lot of you i know this is this I may, I may a lot of you may disagree with me, but I just feel like making videos on fighting games is awesome and everything. But it's just I don't really have that much creative freedom here. There's not a lot of tools that I have with fighting games. I don't really feel I, I don't want to say passion or the love because I, I still love fighting games and I still have a passion for them. But for m making content for fighting games, I, I don't know if that's what I want. I don't really see a long term plan here. I just kind of got. I, I feel like I'm just going with the flow and since see what other what fighting games I like, what things I can do. And I don't know if I see like a long term plan here. I don't really want to do the same content over and over. I don't want to keep doing either gameplay video tier list guide or just talk about the newest game. I don't know. I've been questioning myself about this for a, a long this is not like I flipped a switch. This is not like I just suddenly felt this way. I've been feeling this way for a while, but I just kind of kept pushing through it. Be like, oh, maybe like, I don't know, DNF Duel would make something or KO15 will change things or project l but project l is a long time for now so and i when i made videos for dnf duel and all these i just felt myself doing the same thing again like over and over again it was just so weird i'm like man like I, I i see myself doing the same thing then i look at other content creators and they're kind of doing the same thing i'm like i don't know if this is what i want you know 
I don't know if I see my future here. And a lot of you may say that, oh, that's just, that's your fault. You're just not creative enough or you're just not, uh, you, you're just not thinking of, of, of different ideas or you're not being innovative or whatever. But at the same time, dude, there's not a lot you can do with fighting games. It's not like you can make some crazy thing or you can just, it's not like you have all these tools to make content. You either, all you really got is matches and that's it. You're either playing the fighting game or teaching others how to play the fighting game. And that's really it. So you may be wondering, okay, John, you don't want to do content on fighting games. What do you want to do now? Well, <laughs> I do have a plan and I do have a game that I want to do content on for the future. And I know it's going to sound weird. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, I know a lot of you are going to disagree. God, why do I feel like kind of embarrassed, like talking about this? Jesus. Before I talk about what I want to do next, I completely understand if you know you unsubscribe or you stop watching or whatever, because this is a, a type of game that I'm sure a lot of you don't have any interest in or don't will like, because that's not the audience that I have here on YouTube. It's mostly just fighting game players. So I completely understand if you unsubscribe or you just stop watching or anything. You know, it was nice having you here. I love you for supporting me or watching the videos or doing whatever. I, I, I really appreciate you. And I hope that some of you will stick around and, you know, give this a chance. Anyways, what I really want to do going forward on this channel is I want to do WWE 2K videos. Now, before you all collectively grunt and moan and click off the video, at least hear me out, okay? I have been personally a wrestling fan my entire life i've been watching wrestling since i was 9 10 years old and i've grown up watching it I've, i have a massive passion for it that and the nba are my are my things i love wrestling like i do i love basketball and i love wrestling those are my two things like i said those are my number two things in my, in, in that i love in hobbies along with video games and fighting games of course and you know there's the new game coming out and it's a very highly expected game those games have a lot of creativity they have a lot of room for creativity they, have, they give you a lot of tools to do what you want i just feel like i have a lot more options there i feel like i have that passion for wrestling and knowledge to do that type of thing i feel like i want to do that i feel like that's what i see m in my future hopefully and i know a lot what a lot of you are gonna think oh he thinks he's gonna grow faster there he's gonna think more, more views there no that's not it at all because i could really just stick to finding it and just grind it out hard but honestly i just don't want to do that for the reasons that i explained before but i just started thinking about it i've been playing these games forever i have a passion for the for wrestling i watch wrestling every week and i love it and i feel like this has so many more options for me in terms of content in terms of creativity in terms of a, a different community a different aspect a different environment and i feel and i'm like i think I think this is what I want for my future and for the future of this channel. It just seems like a good opportunity to transfer, I guess, niches. And I, and yeah, I, I this this is what I want. That is what I want to do with this channel. I like I said, I understand if you just don't like, if you don't like it, if you unsubscribe, if you dislike it, if you stop watching. I completely understand. And like I said, I appreciate you and I love you for supporting and watching the videos. But I can't keep going and doing something that I just don't really enjoy or see a future in i mean don't get like I, I like, like i said i enjoy playing fighting games but making content for them is kind of getting frustrating at this point and i'm not talking about users subscribers i'm talking about just coming up with something new and different it's so hard when you just don't really have access to a lot like it's like it's really hard to explain but anybody who's made content on fighting games i feel like understands this it's just you're kind of doing a cycle of content you're either doing like i said gameplay video guide or just talking about the newest the newest thing in the community will it be a game announcement or a character announcement or reaction video or anything it's just a cycle of it and i'm just really starting to get tired of it i want to do more i have i am ambitious i want to do big things and i feel that i got you know i gotta love it i gotta love it i gotta be passionate about it and i feel like this transfer is gonna be good for me the immediate plan for now is of uh, wwe 2k22 is going to be coming out in march 11th but it'll be out on march 8th for a deluxe edition that's probably what i'm gonna get i'm gonna start there until then i'm probably gonna try to be posting fighting game videos as much as i can will be fighting games video be gone completely probably not i probably will still make fighting game videos when there's a new fighting game out for example when dnf duel comes out i'll probably make videos on that when project l comes out i'll probably make a video on that if there's a new nrs game i'll probably make a video on that but i don't 
I can't have this be my main source of content because I feel like relying on fighting games in, when, in terms of content is a bad idea. And when I heard, I remember, I, I think it was Coefficient or somebody said that, you know, making content on fighting games is hard and relying on them is even harder for content. And I'm like, oh, that's probably just because you're not thinking of anything or you're just not being creative enough or whatever. And then now that I'm doing it, I understand it's hard. It's really hard. There's not a, a lot you can do. So yeah, like I said, immediate plan is to make fighting game videos until March 8th, which is actually my birthday, coincidentally. Once March 8th hits, expect WWE 2K videos from there onwards. Once there is a new fighting game that interests me, I'll make a video on them. I'll start making videos on those. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably just gonna make WWE 2K videos and when there's a new game, I'll make videos on that game. But I want WWE 2K to be my main source of videos and content you know like i said I, I have i love wrestling i have a passion for wrestling i understand the business i get i understand everything i feel like i can do this i feel like i want to do this i feel like i have what it takes to do this and it just seems like a much better way of tackling this everything you know yeah this ended up being a lot more deep and real than i wanted it to be i i just i just kind of wanted to hop on this video and just be like hey guys i'm gonna i'm gonna stop probably doing fighting game videos or stop doing them mainly and switch to w2k and do fighting games on the side but this ended up being a lot more real than i thought i started talking about my feelings and everything oh why am i talking about my feelings to a freaking camera dude anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my ramble i i'm sure that not that many people are gonna watch this but for those who do and especially for those who watch till the end i appreciate you and i love you for hearing me out and giving me the time of day to explain myself and you know get that get this off my chest and yeah uh if you guys like i said if you enjoyed it give you a like subscribe to the channel don't don't worry i'm still gonna make videos i'm not gonna just drop until march 8th i'm still gonna make videos on fighting games until march 8th then we're gonna switching gears i'm gonna be prepping for it i'm gonna be doing a lot of preparations for it i'm gonna be switching some things around so i can really you know capitalize on this and you know really motivate myself and really you know get that passion rolling and really have it transfer into the videos so yeah that's my, my little ramble if you heard it to the end i love you if you just watched it a little bit i love you i know there's not gonna be that many people that watch this type of thing but i appreciate those who do and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace